Well, hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Cocktails with Kira. My name is Kira, and I'm a whiskey loving Irish gal who's on a cocktail voyage of discovery. If you are new here, I have zero professional bar experience other than a passion for making mixed drinks at home and showing you how I do it. So hit that subscribe button, stick around, and we both just might learn something because if I can do it, you can do it. In today's video, I'm going to be making a highly requested cocktail that I honestly don't know how I've waited this long to make. And what with it being a dull, dreary January day, I figure now is the perfect time to make this drink. So today I'm going to be making the legendary Long Island iced tea. It is no surprise as to why the Long Island iced tea has reached such legendary status. It is probably measure by measure one of the strongest cocktails you can make. While I have certainly enjoyed many a Long Island iced tea and I have the stories to back it up, I have actually never made this cocktail myself. But bar needing a cabinet's worth of spirits to make this drink, it actually sounds like it's relatively easy to put together. So I'm quite excited to actually make it for the first time. I also suspect that some of the Long Island iced teas that I've enjoyed before, particularly in establishments where they really weren't that expensive, were probably a little bit weaker than the traditional recipe dictates. So I'm very excited to make it measure by measure and see if it's actually that strong. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll probably know that I am no stranger to a strong drink. I actually prefer more of a spirit forward cocktail. So I'm really excited to make this one. So before we get into the history of a Long Island iced tea and I show you how I make it at home, I would like to take Take a second to tell you about my Patreon. It is not only a great way of supporting my channel, but you can also have access to exclusive content. You can join in on my monthly live stream with my Patreon community. They are so much fun. And you can also see the footage that is just too tipsy for YouTube. All right, so let's get into the history of a Long Island iced tea. Unlike many of the classic cocktails that we've looked at here on this channel, the Long Island iced tea, despite being one of the cocktail heavyweights, is relatively new. It was created in the 1970s by a bartender known as Bob Rosebud Butt, I don't know why I find his name so funny, for a cocktail contest hosted by Oak Beach Inn. After its creation, which was of course in Long Island, as you can imagine, it became massively popular, everybody was drinking it, and thus the legend of the Long Island iced tea was born. So now that we know we have Mr. Butt to thank for the Long Island iced tea, let's get into its ingredients. So as I've already mentioned, the Long Island iced tea is a powerhouse of a cocktail and it includes four different spirits and one liqueur. So we are going to be starting with some vodka. The recipe that I looked up calls for vanilla vodka, which I absolutely love. So I will happily include this. Now, what I can only imagine is some sort of attempt at sanity. The recipe calls for equal amounts of each spirit. So we're going to be doing 22 mils of our vodka. We're also going to be doing 22 mils of our gin. I'm going to use Bombay Sapphire. We're also going to be including the same amount of our tequila and then we're also going to be using the same amount of our rum. I have a few different types of rum that I can include but I think the recipe calls for white rum so I have some Appleton Jamaican rum here which I think would be perfect. This recipe also calls for some orange liqueur. I have some Cointreau here that I'm going to use but you can also use triple sec. We're also going to be using some simple syrup and then to finish it all off we are going to be using some cola as well. So it's probably the most ingredients needed for any cocktail that I've made on this channel thus far, so I hope it is worth it. So now that we have our wide array of ingredients ready, let's get into actually making a Long Island iced tea. So the method for this cocktail is actually surprisingly simple. We're just gonna be adding all of these ingredients to our shaker. We're gonna give it a little shake and then we're gonna to top it with a cola at the end. So let's just go ahead and do that. And while I'm doing this, I would like to thank the lovely James Spreacher from my Patreon community for requesting this cocktail. It is no doubt that James probably would have wanted me to take a shot of each spirit as I'm making it, but you will forgive me if I don't because it's just one of those cocktails that I think that would be a bad idea. Starting off with our 20 mils of rum, in she goes. Then we're going to do our tequila. I'm going slightly over the 20 mil line, which should give me that exact kind of 22 mils. So now let's go in with our 22 mils of vanilla vodka. Oh, I love this stuff. 22 mils of our Bombay. In she goes. Here we go. <laughs> that is quite a lot of spirits. And now our final alcoholic ingredient is the Cointreau. And we're again doing 22 mils of this stunning orange liqueur. In they go. 
Now I believe the lime juice is to taste, so I probably won't do the full 22 mils, but I'll give a good squeeze of half a lime and I feel like that should be enough. Maybe I'll just do a tiny bit more, given that there are so few non-alcoholic ingredients in this cocktail. So that's probably about 15 mils of lime juice going in there. So now we're also just gonna add in a little bit of simple syrup. I think the same again. Okay, so now it's time to give it a little shake and then we can serve it. Okay, I think that's probably enough. It actually smells really strong. So I have a very large ice cube sitting in this glass, so it's nicely chilled. Let's strain this in. Oh my God. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my cola just to kind of float on top and hopefully make it not as potent. Okay, I think that's... <laughs> That's not a lot of cola at all. Okay, so I've popped in my straw on my lemon wheel and it's literally overflowing. Okay, so here we have my Long Island iced tea. It is full to the brim. It looks so innocent and unassuming, but I guarantee you this is going to pack a punch. I'm very excited to try it. So if you'll join me over on my cocktail drinking chair, let's try it and see how it tastes. Okay, so I'm back in my cocktail drinking Dr. Evil chair and I'm dying to try this. It looks so refreshing, I have to say. It's got that beautiful little gradient on it. So I'm gonna give it a taste and see if my at-home version of a Long Island iced tea is stronger than what I've had before. Okay, let's go. Wow, it's definitely stronger. I don't know if it was my generous measurements or possibly that some of the places that I've gone to before maybe haven't made it as strong, but this definitely packs a punch. This cocktail always boggles my mind because it's so deceptively balanced. And I know that I'm not the best measure for how strong something tastes because apparently I can drink battery acid and not make a face. It actually tastes like iced tea, which is so bizarre. It really is one of those drinks that if you wanted to be efficient and you didn't have a lot of time, this would be the go-to. Actually, this and an espresso martini and I would be well on my way. I feel like most cocktail drinkers out there probably have one or two Long Island iced tea stories. So if you enjoy this cocktail, if you have any stories about you drinking it, or if there's a specific way that you like to make it, please do let me know in the comments below. So it's at this point in the video that I get to sit back, enjoy my cocktail and answer some questions from my Patreon community. So I have a question here from the lovely William Nance and he says, do you like absinthe? How have you had it in the past. Love you. Love you too, William. That's so sweet. Yes, I have definitely had absinthe. It is one of those spirits that I find really interesting and it's been a plan of mine to make some absinthe cocktails for the channel. So I will definitely be doing that soon. So I hope that those of you who've been requesting that I make the Long Island iced tea are satisfied with my rendition. If there is any way that I can improve upon the recipe, please do let me know. If you liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more easy cocktails that you can make at home, I will link a playlist up here. And if you have not already, then please do subscribe to my channel. We have actually just hit 100,000 subscribers, which is so, so crazy. It's an accomplishment that I never expected back when I started making these cocktails last year. So I would love if you join the community. I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next one. Bye.